This Resident Evil is really taking the franchise to a whole new level. Part of the fun in this movie is the physicality that comes along with it. It was exciting to me because I got to train physically and mentally. I get to kick some zombie ass for the first time. The stunts have just gone off the rails. It's gonna be sick. Whenever I start a movie, there's different things that you pull out of your arsenal, the different tools that you need to work with. With Resident Evil, a lot of it is the physicality. Action. Knowing how to shoot the guns, doing some of your own stunts, and really making it as real as possible so that the audience can go on this journey with you. You know it's gonna show up on camera and just, you know, be exactly what the fans want. And there's a couple of those moments. The stunts in this movie are, are tremendous. As an actor, it's great to have something that you can really grab a hold of, focus on, and make it your own. It's a lot of work, it's grueling, and we've been in such challenging situations between the stunts and the guns and, and the cold weather. <laughs> Both of us love to do our own stunts. We do as much as we can. I have a great love of martial arts and a great respect of doing stunts and action films. I'm using the same stunt coordinator, Rick Forsyth, that I used for the last Resident Evil movie. Partly because he's very good at what he does, but also Mila feels very comfortable with him. Into that, and out. Ready? Yeah. Action! Swing! Cut. Rick, it was great to kind of bring his team back and work with a familiar set of faces to kind of bring the stunts to life. And that's very important when you're asking your lead actress to do as many of their own stunts as Mila does. And she does 99% of everything you see in the movie is really her doing it. I think she's been training through the whole series of Resident Evil movies, so she's got it down. Action! She's so impressive on screen. The way she holds herself, the swords, the knives. Is that any way to treat a lady? Mila did a lot of fight training uh, with swords. She studied with a Japanese sword master because I wanted the sword fighting to be as authentic as possible. I wanted to give, you know, Mila some fresh weaponry for the movie. So I wanted to go with these Western iconic weapons, two revolvers that she has, but also these sawn off shotguns. And I thought, you know, rather than than use traditional pellets, I came up with something slightly different, which is throughout the movie she collects quarters. So she loads up her shotgun with quarters. I love to fly, I love to do stunts. Even though it's hard and it's uncomfortable, I really get a kick out of it. It feels like I'm superhuman. It gets me up there doing these amazing things. I just love it. Half of our heroes end up in the elevator shaft. Oh shit. Well, Mila leads the zombies over the rooftop. There's an element of danger and risk. You do the stunt wrong and you're in a wire rig, you can get really hurt. Two to one, please. Going out. Here we go. You had her, you know, hung from a crane. Three, two, one. She did the fall, just dropping past us on wires and the harness. Cut. Amen. She hits the end of the wire and the zombies continue to their death. You can believe a lot of the crazy stunts that happen in the movie are achievable because she actually does participate. 
She's good at it. She knows how to do it and just keeps doing it and keeps getting better at it.